Finally, building a tree house. I know, it's going to be awesome. We can play games in it, bring food up, and have a picnic. We can even sleep up here. It's going to be the best tree house in the world. Well, it won't be if you keep daydreaming and don't help me build it. Okay, okay, let's begin. We've got three large pieces of wood here. I measured them yesterday and they measure 18 feet, 6 feet and 30 feet each. Now to make this tree house, we need to cut small planks out of them so that all the planks are of the same size. And this wood is precious. So we must make sure we don't waste any. Yes, exactly. So we need to divide these pieces of wood into smaller planks such that each plank is of the same size and no wood is wasted. How will we know what size planks to cut? We need to find out the size of planks we can cut from all three pieces of wood such that all the planks are of an equal size. Then we'll choose what suits us best. How on earth are we going to do that? That's easy, JC, by using factors. But how? First, let's factorize the length of three logs. I can do that. Go ahead then. Okay, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. And how about 30? The factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. Hey! 1, 2, 3 and 6 are factors of all 3 numbers. Yes, they are. And they are known as the common factors of 3 numbers. So 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the common factors of 18, 6 and 30. Yes, this means that 1, 2, 3 and 6 can divide 18, 6 and and 30 completely so that there is no remainder left. This tells us if we cut planks of either 1 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet or 6 feet from all 3 logs of wood then no wood will be left over. Great! Now look at number 6 JC. Out of all the common factors of 18, 6 and 30 6 is the largest one. This is known as highest common factor or HCF. Highest common factor you mean the greatest number that is a factor of all the given numbers. I'll remember that. Yes, you should. Wait, can I find the HCF of any given numbers? Yes, you can. Just list down the factors of all the given numbers and find the common factors. The highest number out of these will be the HCF. Cool! Let's try one more. Can you find the HCF of 12 and 16? Uh, okay. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Now find the common factors of 12 and 16. The common factors are 1, 2 and 4. 
So the highest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. Yes. And one more thing. If you have a pair of numbers where the smaller number is a factor of the larger number, then the smaller number is the HCF of the two numbers like 16 and 4. 4 is the HCF of 16 and 4. Yes, exactly. Now come on, do you want to do this or not? Let's build a tree house. This is nice, isn't it? Yes, like I said before, best tree house in the world. So what do you want to do now? Play something? Yes, let's, but uh, before we begin, I have a question about what you told me earlier, about HCF. Oh really? What? What if I want to find the HCF of two really big numbers so that listing down each and every factor is a problem? What do I do then? That's a good point little bro. In such cases, we use the long division method to find the HCF. Do you want me to show you how? Yes, please. Let's go. Okay, let's find the HCF of 90 and 50 using the long division method. First, divide the greater number by the smaller number. That is, divide 90 by 50. That gives 1 as the quotient and 40 as the remainder. Yes. Now we divide the first divisor, that is 50, by this remainder, that is 40. Okay, we get 1 as a quotient and 10 as a remainder. Now divide the second divisor by the second remainder, that is divide 40 by 10. This leaves us with 4 as the quotient with 0 remainder. There you go. 10 is our HCF. You see, we carry on dividing till the remainder becomes 0. And the divisor that leaves no remainder is the HCF of the two numbers. Cool! Thanks bro! No problem JC. Now what should we play? Karen? No, 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 no. Monopoly. Or wheat. Snakes and ladders. Or... Uh... JC. It's time for a recap. The highest common factor of two numbers is the greatest number that is a factor of both the numbers. If in the given pair of numbers, the smaller number is a factor of the larger number, then the smaller number is the HCF of the two numbers. To find the HCF of two numbers by using the long division method, divide the greater number by the smaller number. Divide the first divisor by the first remainder. Divide the second divisor by the second remainder. Continue in this way till there is no remainder left. The divisor that does not leave a remainder is the HCF of the two numbers. <laughs>